try to figure out how to start this video. Oh! oh. Husband of the year. Oh my god! Wow, I guess I'm gonna have to take a meal break to eat. That's right. <gasps> Thank you, with the little tray and everything. <laughs> Oh my god, you're so sweet. I am. <laughs> that was not planned. Um, let me just finish this up and then I will start this video. Oh my god, those sopes were exactly what I needed. Uh, never turn down sopes, ever. What's up you guys and welcome back to Chores to Local. Today we're going to be talking about the question that I have been getting the most from you guys over on social media. Why did we leave Puerto Vallarta and why did we move to Cuernavaca? Although I have been updating you guys on Instagram about why we've done this, I feel like I've done a terrible job of updating you guys on YouTube and I didn't realize this until recently. When I was looking back on this year's past videos, I realized that we've only briefly mentioned us moving back to Cuernavaca and never really went into detail about it with you guys. A lot of you guys follow because you love Puerto Vallarta and you're wondering why we're no longer there. So in this video, I'm going to be answering all those questions. But in order to talk about why we're here now, we need to go back a little bit further. For those of you who have been following along for a while, you know that Martin and I had been waiting for the K-1 fiance visa since May 2019. What was only supposed to be a six month wait has now turned into almost two years. It has been the biggest test of patience that we've ever endured. But everything happens for a reason. Actually, I found that this extended time we spent here in Mexico has opened so many doors for us. I've gotten to do so much more than I ever dreamed of being here, and I don't know if I'm ready to leave, to be honest. But anyway, if you're not familiar with the K-1 process, this visa allows you to be legally married in the United States. You apply, you wait a few months, you get told you can go to an interview at the consulate. For us, it's in Ciudad Juarez. And at that interview, you get asked a bunch of questions about your relationship and then approved for the visa, which comes just a couple days later. From that point, you move to the US where you then start your path to citizenship. You aren't allowed to leave the US for about the first year or so. And you aren't allowed to work for like the first six to eight months. Honestly, the waiting times are all over the place right now. So I have no idea what to expect. In December of 2019, we finally received the great news that Martin was allowed to schedule his appointment. And the first available appointment was April 1st. With anticipation of that, we had this master plan mapped out of how we could make everything happen for ourselves. Because remember, when Martin gets to the US, he's not allowed to leave for the first year or so. We knew that having a big ceremony to celebrate our commitment to each other was a must in Mexico because a lot of his family can't travel to the US and it's always been my dream to get married in Puerto Vallarta. So what we decided to do is have a big party in Puerto Vallarta in February, on February 1st, where we celebrated our commitment to each other with a beautiful ceremony like a traditional wedding would be, except there was absolutely nothing legal about it or religious about it. It was simply symbolic. And it feels so weird to explain this now because this wouldn't have been something I would need to have explained if the pandemic didn't happen. Essentially, we were going to have the ceremony, do our little honeymoon in Asia. I would go to the US and start getting ready for Martin to move over there. And Martin would go to Mexico to do his visa appointment and then move right away. This is all gonna happen within a span of a few weeks. And then we'd be legally married in the US. Unfortunately, the pandemic happened right in the middle of all of those very tight plans. So what ended up happening was we did our symbolic ceremony in Puerto Vallarta. We went on our honeymoon in Asia for three weeks. Don't know how we got away with doing that. And then I went to the US, Martin went to Mexico to do his appointment. When he got to Mexico was around March 13th or 14th, which you guys will remember is the day where everything shut down. Flights were no longer an option for me to get back to Mexico. And any of you guys who had big major changes of plans happen in 2020 can probably understand the feeling I had these, this basically this past year of not knowing what the future holds. So being too afraid to do anything, just hoping it would work itself out. So for three months, I waited in the US thinking any day now, the appointment will be rescheduled any day now there's this is all going to go away and it didn't. So June came around and I said enough is enough. I can't be apart from him any further. So I decided to go back to Mexico with some of our stuff. Actually, funny enough, Martin only brought two weeks worth of clothes with him to Mexico when he came back here because like I said, we were all set to move to the US. I guess this just shows don't have all your ducks in a row before they hatch. 
Around the time that I got here, my uncle let me know, who lives in Puerto Vallarta, that he was going to be going back to the US for a few months and wanted us to house it for him. We thought this was a great opportunity because Martin could go back to his old job in Puerto Vallarta that he loved. He worked at a hotel. They treated him so well and we would have a place to stay. Plus, I love Puerto Vallarta. Well, when we got there, my uncle decided to not go back to the US, which is totally fine. We were right in the middle of the pandemic, but we didn't really know what to do. So we just decided to test out the waters of staying in Puerto Vallarta again. We rented an Air Airbnb for two months, and that's when I spent a lot of time filming videos for YouTube. Around this time was also when I had a big salary decrease at my full-time job. I work for a corporate travel software, so you can imagine our business was super low. And unfortunately, Martin found out that his hotel closed for the foreseeable future. A lot of his coworkers who had been there for years who were so qualified couldn't find jobs because as you know, Puerto Vallarta is a tourism hub. If there's no tourism, there's no jobs. We waited for a few more weeks and ultimately decided it wasn't worth staying there if there was nothing for Martin to be able to do there. He is one of the hardest workers I know, and that's what you guys don't see a lot of on this channel, is he loves to work. He loves to be busy, and the idea of not being able to work is not something Martin would find fun. He's not lazy by any means. And luckily enough for him, he was fortunate enough to have a job opportunity in Cuernavaca, which is his hometown. And there was a lot of pros of going back there. His mom and his brother's birthday were coming up as well as his own. He wanted to spend it with them. Plus he has this job that he can go to in Cuernavaca. I've actually lived in Cuernavaca previously from, let's see, June 2018 to June 2019. And I studied abroad here. Plus I have a friend here. And the more and more we thought about it, we realized that with Martin moving to the US basically any month now, he will not be able to visit his family for a long time. We knew holidays were coming up. This could be one of the last Christmases he spends here for a while. And it only makes sense for us to be near his family and for him to be able to have a job opportunity. I am really glad we made the decision though, because I've begun to view this place through a new lens. Um, it is so different from Puerto Vallarta. It is not at all touristic. It has pushed me so much to try to learn more Spanish, to try to do new things. There's so many towns in this area that we never got to explore that are nearby, and I would love to show you guys this side of Mexico. But for those of you guys who love Puerto Vallarta content, do not worry, we are actually planning to go back to Vallarta for a week to film some more videos, and we are going to be going to Guadalajara and Tequila as well. I cannot wait to show you guys that. And that's actually one of the great things about being here is that we are so close to Mexico City Airport that it's a central hub to basically get around every anywhere. So at the moment, we do not have any future plans to go back to Vallarta, like long term, just on vacations and such. As for the visa, there still is no update on when his appointment will be, so I'm really glad we did decide to go back here and just kind of move on with our life and not just wait every single day for this visa to come through. In terms of the future, when the visa comes through, we still do plan to move to the US. The path to citizenship for him is still something we really want to pursue while we're young because we never know what the future holds and we might as well get it over with now. We could end up staying in the US or we could end up moving back to Mexico in the next like four or five years. I still would really love to end up back in Puerto Vallarta, but we will see what happens. Obviously 2020 has taught us that man plans and God laughs. So <laughs> I'm trying to not set too many complicated goals for the future. I hope this brought you guys some clarity and sorry if this is so confusing. It is confusing for me too. And if anybody was able to follow along this video and understand, props to you. <laughs> I am so excited for the future of this channel. I have a full list of videos to bring you guys every single week for these next few months. I'm feeling so just rejuvenated, so creative, and I really think that this move here is going to be a great thing for this channel. So I do hope you stick around, and thank you guys so much for all of your kind messages throughout this time. I've had so many of you just send me such sweet things and encouragement to Martina and I. And although it's been a rocky year, I'm so glad to finally have a bed and a place to call home, a place to call our home base. Um, it took us long enough, but we finally decided to commit to settling down somewhere for a while. I will keep you guys in the know if we hear anything about the visa, of course. And make sure you follow along on Instagram, by the way, at Tours to Local, because folks over there have been in 
touch about what our whole situation is for a lot longer than they have been on YouTube because it's just a lot easier to post daily little stories here and there. So make sure you guys follow along there. I love you guys so much. So long, travel well, and make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Did you know we have a Patreon? All our members get access to monthly income reports, exclusive podcasts, access to our private Facebook group, and even a copy of my ebook, Puerto Vallarta Like a Local. Business and first class patrons also get a postcard from us each month. Thanks so much for the support. Click the Patreon logo on the screen to join our family.